This is going to be round two for a whole house carpet cleaning with this Mila Callisto and the SEB 228 brush roll. So in previous videos, you saw that this power nozzle did very well with sand and baking soda, and those results were verified, of course, on my test carpet that all this equipment's sitting on right now. This test carpet is only about two and a half years old, and it's only used for testing. Uh, you could say baking soda, flour, and uh, sand. I mean, that's, that's the typical stuff I, I put on here. And there's really nothing else on this carpet. It's also fairly new, uh, fairly new. Now, my carpet in my house is a solid 16 years old. It's got very, very different types of, of dirt in it. You know, dog hair, human hair, no appreciable sand and grit. Um, there's various other things in there. And, of course, the levels of wears, very different and consistent. So I used this power nozzle on position 3 previously for the 8.6 gram pickup. I now am switching it to position 2. So I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. Maybe it'll make a huge difference. Maybe it won't even be pushable. I'm not sure. So I thought position three seemed to be the best for doing my 16-year-old carpet because doing my test carpet down here, position three certainly seemed to do just fine. I mean, look at the baking soda and the uh, sand results. Let's try this on position two and see if it makes any difference and I will let you know if it's even possible to push this power nozzle on position two for well over a thousand square feet of carpet. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be unbearable. Not really too sure. Okay, initial weight. Oh good, you can see that. I'll call that 80.7234. Where's it going to stop? All right, I'll say 80.75. Why not? 80.75 grams. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean everything that I can, and it's going to be close to 1,200 square feet, and then we'll come back and see what the results are. Oh, and uh, Miko, I'm sure you're watching this. Congratulations on your new scale and all your new tests. Just finished the whole house carpet cleaning, and you can see a little bit of what I have to deal with with my wife's two foot long hair. So this is pretty typical. I've got to spend time pulling that out every time I go and vacuum. That's just, that's kind of normal. But I'm gonna say this, I used position two and I will never use position two again so position two really bogged this brush roll down it did it terribly so you hear the noise this one normally makes it, it's kind of higher pitched kind of like we you know what it's like running it when you hear Ooh, and it's running at half speed just struggling and protesting so just kind of let this be a reminder uh do not run your brush rolls your power nozzles down too low they're definitely going to wear the brush roll out and they certainly can wear the entire power nozzle out heat up your motor burn your belt whatever it is bad bad thing to do so whatever we manage to get for pickup this is a position two pickup that I do not recommend in any way, shape, or form ever doing. Of course, your carpet's different than my carpet, and maybe position two is the position that you need, but it's not a position that I'm ever gonna run again. Okay, position two. Did we pick up a ton? Let's see, uh, make sure that you can, you can see that a bit. So running it down way too low to the point where it is hurting everything. 
I'm getting, I'm not so sure you can see that. Let me back that up a little bit. I'm getting 89.8 something here. All right, I'll say 89.8, just flipped it. All right, I'll say 89.88. And then I'm gonna subtract 80.75 and this is what we have. So 9.13. So the first time that I ran this thing, position three, we got 8.60. The second time, this is the verification round, and I did it on position two, and it just didn't matter all that much. It hurt the brush roll, it definitely hurt the machine, it was protesting uh, dram rather dramatically saying, raise me up, my, my motor is just straining too much, and it didn't change much. So unfortunately, you can definitely see a confirmation that the SEB228 just doesn't, uh, shall we say, match my, my carpet very well. The EBK340 power nozzle does a much better job, and it's also much newer as well, uh, much stiffer bristles. Okay, so yeah, you can't win them all, and this is unfortunately somewhat of a disappointment. Uh, but you know, that's that's just what happens. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.